Yeah. What's good, everyone? This is Dev the Coolest. And this is Ray Bay. And this is JB. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Slick, Slick Talk. Talk. Hey. 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 hey, welcome back, y'all. Season hey. three. Hey. Season three. Hey. Season three. Hey. Season three. Hey. Season three. Hey. We huh. still You're here. You're trying to make your back voice deeper, Dev. <laughs> What's the rest of it? Back again. Back to back. Back to back. Then. Okay. That's back to the M's. There we go. That's I didn't know the, the, the word. Dedicated to the queen. <laughs> yes, Nikki. Welcome back, y'all. This What's is season that? three. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> we that still, we funny. ain't changed. We still the same. <laughs> Silly people. Still right? Why is my chair still so growing, high? Still growing, still evolving. How do I put this down? You know. Do I got to adjust the mic now? So okay. you bouncing God. on the chair. Come on, reality. <laughs> you been doing a lot of that. This is bouncing on the chair. This break. No. <laughs> I've actually, so I'm practicing. Oh, hi, y'all. So we get into it. Yeah. Um, Come on, Wendy. I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna get into it. He turned to a chair a little bit like Wendy. Anyways, so, though. so I've been practicing abstinence. Yeah, oh, I know. I've had no hookups. Congratulations! I'm lying. <laughs> I don't Is but that you say congratulations to? Huh? Is that something you say congratulations to? Absolutely. Congratulations. Yes. No, and me. I'm not a hoe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And then he looks at me, y'all. Wait a minute. I don't even know what this uh, is. I'm ready I to turn my it. mic off. I mean, he looks so at me. Given a Malik Yoba so, exit. What's, you said you, say you practice an abstinence? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so when I'm dating people mm-hmm. going forward, I'm not having sex right off the bat like wait, I'm waiting, like Jill Scott said no no listen let's, I'm let's clarify you wait, can you clarify the difference the for some of our listeners between abstinence and celibacy and celibacy yeah so abstinence is abstaining from sex in this in the sense of like you're still having sex but you're not giving it up so easily <laughs> yeah. while celibacy is like Cut, no, no, okay. no Also, celibacy means no coming at all. So it means not uh-uh. even no uh-uh. yeah, That's celibacy. No, that, no it's it not. Look it up. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm celibate. Yeah, but, celibate. but have you come? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So that's abstinence. So that's ab. That's part of abstinence is for refraining. From no, but I'm like, taking, even if I'm dating, I'm not. I'm not having sex at all. Yeah. That's so we're doing abstinence. the same thing. Yeah, you guys are pretty much doing. Oh, the same you're not thing. having sex at all. No. Period. But that's the no. Same thing. I mean, you're well, abstinence. with myself. Oh. That's about it. That's what I'm saying. That's the same <laughs> thing as abstinence. Celibacy is you're not ejaculating at all or even. I'm confused. Oh, I need no. to. Where's Google? Yeah, we go Google it. Where's by Google? Show. Right. Anyway, can we drive the boat again? Saying? We can drive the boat in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> go what you were saying before we went on to the differences. So you answered the question. You gave the. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Before that, what else I got? It? Oh, before I don't know. That's what well, you said. What else did you do during the break? Oh, during Absolutely. the break, nothing. Um, nothing. I've been working, mm-hmm. um, focusing on myself. Like I'm just tired of like, like y'all know my personality. I'm a very like I give myself to people all the time mm-hmm. as far as like just being social. Blah blah blah. Like I'm I've been stopping that. Yes, like, I'm, good. Like, meditating, going to the gym. Absolutely. And just focusing on Come me. Come on, boundaries. Absolutely. Yes. I love Yo, you it. Know, I love it. that was rough for me. Yeah. So. That's what's up. What about you, Ray Bay? Um, well, besides being celibate or abstinent, I don't know what it is now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. We still ain't pulled up Google. He he be really know it like other I shit. know. I'm confused because I thought don't celibate means we gonna that figure it out. Even y'all let us know. Y'all, y'all let us know. Right. With somebody, you're just not having sex right. uh, until you decide that celibacy pack is over. Well, exactly. I didn't know you couldn't come when you were celibate, but anyway. That's the thing. It, really? No, all of no. that is out. I mean, anyway, so. I guess I'm on a different <laughs> level. I, I don't know. Maybe anyway, not. it doesn't Maybe matter. There's it levels doesn't matter. of um, But, you know, I've been really just doing a lot of artwork, mm-hmm. working. I wanted to travel, but it did not happen. It's it's okay. Because we live in the fucking Bay Area. Oh, my God. It just makes it. Right. I mean, the only travel I've done difficult. is, like, this L.A. That's... That's still that's traveling. A, that's that's still, I'm about to say, that's I don't consider that traveling. I feel like going to your years. other home, you know? It's <laughs> more than a lot of motherfuckers that did in five years. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, California is a long ass state. It is. So it's like right. for people on the East Coast, like y'all can travel five states in yeah. the amount that we travel New from Jersey. That's LA, true. So that's so very true. It is traveling yeah. for that's sure. True. Um, I've been, you know, trying to get back to my spiritual side. That's been a. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's been rough on that end, but I'm. Decided I was done with therapy. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're resolved. I mean, I feel like I'm still working on myself, mm-hmm. and the same 
topics that I was discussing in therapy, but I can do it on my own now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I got all the tools wow. so yeah, and I was yeah. ready. I can see that. Too. Yeah. yeah. I can see that too. And he cut his also, hair. I did. Oh my God. Yeah. Everybody. It looks really good. Thank you. It you know, I've had really mixed good. reviews. And from I remember people. you who, who, who said otherwise? Mm-hmm. Some people were Not really who, loving the hair. Some people were really loving the hair, but I think because it, it gives them a certain identi- identity of me, mm. and that's exactly the reason why I cut it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I and you were that. saying yesterday too. You were like, "Yeah, I don't know how my hair gonna look." And my <laughs> you hair, know what? Like, egg. I I was so you when you had it long hair like for like egg, five though. years, mm-hmm. you forget like okay. What does the shape of my head look like? Right. <laughs> you know, Ooh, go right. back on Instagram. Ooh, I'm like, maybe it's a bad picture. I don't know. Right. Yeah, but after nah. I cut it, I was just like, oh, I feel free. I can just get up and brush you it and make it look younger. Too, hair. It, does it? it does make you look younger. Okay. Because, you know, really all the grays was poking out. They still, you know, the, the, I, I love my gray hair. And your beard. You can I, see I, I, I have even more gray hair in my beard after it's I cut my hair. Good, though. It works. I really it love works. it. People think it's sexy. Listen. People think it's Hello? sexy. Come on, proud. I think it's proud sexy. Look. Thank you. I think it's Thank sexy. You. Thank you. I hit my tooth on the microphone. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, JB. Who's Sorry. Oop, bloopity. Yeah. No, bloopity. <laughs> so for me, uh, you know, just still doing the same things in LA. I actually myself haven't done too much traveling um, as well this summer, but definitely been trying to refocus on what I want to do moving forward and building connections with people that are in my community. Um, and look at y'all, know, y'all growing up, doing stuff like that. <laughs> we try. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think I, I feel like there's a sense of urgency for me because I mean, people can tell me all, all the time that, oh, you're not that old, but I am getting older, I'm passing my early 30s. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I feel like there's an urgency for me as an individual to make sure that things are aligned and kind of on this one track. For me, moving forward, okay. because time is of the essence. It very it much so. You know, it so. always has been, but now we're like exactly. You just got to be a little bit 30, more I'm balanced. Not yet. I mean, balanced thinking. When Thirty is that. very weird. It's like. People tell you you're you're an adult, but I don't feel it. Like right. I'm an adult nine to five. And after that, I'm just society like society has. If you look at my room, you look like he ain't got his shit no, together. No. That's all it is, <laughs> and that's crazy. Yeah. That's a deeper conversation yeah. we can have. But it's literally society saying, "Oh, at 30 years old, you this is be. what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to be at." I mean, I'm Haitian. Meanwhile, we like we just literally I'm got in our twenties when we was turning up in Vegas and everything, yeah. and now we're flat at 30. We're supposed to be doing this for, nah. for Haitians. Nothing. Apparently and said it at no. 25. Oh, no. wow. 25, you should have had two degrees or three by now. Not 25. Wow. <laughs> Tw- three wow. degrees at 25? Okay, did you have, have a you childhood? Met, have you met, have <laughs> you met Caribbean <laughs> immigrants? Did you, did, you get, did you have fun? Do you know yeah. why Caribbean and African immigrants are like the most Successful, educated? I guess. <laughs> you know, no, it's absolutely. because we have those standards. I get that. Okay. Yeah. Well, y'all that. can keep it. Cause I, right. <laughs> I mean, I let it go. I'm over here child. trying to be an artist. I will right. No, you went to college. I did, but you know, my parents if they hear if my parents when I told them I wanted to be an artist, it was, was like yeah. <sighs> but yeah. yeah, I think that's universal, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. Oh, we gotta turn that off. But yeah, how do we turn so, that off? Uh, <laughs> the fan, but yeah, so yeah um, just twist it. It is hot in the studio just though. <laughs> just but, twist man. it. Go. No, okay, but, um, there we go. Oh, I don't even hear nothing in the headphone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, what I want to say is, like, has there been anything, or you can give a few things that have ha- has happened that you've seen, like, just in entertainment or on TV or whatever mm-hmm. that has happened, um, or something personally in your life that you would have that has happened that you want to like mm. share and you know tell us about. I probably know some things. We probably know some things because we're close, but... Yeah, right. We some things that have happened <laughs> or that you've seen in the media or something. Um, You want to go first to kind of give you an example? <laughs> um, sure. Okay. I mean, as far as, like, media-wise and entertainment-wise, you got people out here snitching. You know, oh, Takashi six, six nine. nine. He's out oh, here snitching. Um, but is know, that? Of, but, a lot of but is that wrong though for him to snitch? I like, was if, get if to you, say that. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I was gonna say there's some people that believe in snitching. There's other people that are saying that they would do the same thing had they been in his shoes. 
So there's there's two sides. So there's people that don't believe in snitching and people yeah. that would say, okay. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I wow. call it snitching because I don't believe in snitching, but there's also So you would do 50 that, years for some other So nigga. I wouldn't do no crime with no <laughs> niggas to begin with. <laughs> right. <laughs> I right. wouldn't do anything. If that's one thing that, like, if you're laced with game growing up or whatever in the black community, that's one thing they tell you. If you're going to do or fuck around and do some shit, be do ready. it alone. Because yeah. yeah. you can be your, you're your own witness, you're mm-hmm. your own defense, you all that. But right. when you do it with hell, of people that's five snitches right you know what i'm saying right, because they're gonna do right. exactly like yeah. takashi 6 nines did but then also doing. that's the product of when people that are not black can say nigga all they like mm, and feel yeah. like mm. and this then when you then we gotta too. live like a nigga this younger generation don't be hello uh, I, mean, that's, that's yeah, cool. I don't want to put yeah, on the generation. they're cute eh. I love them, man. I love, I love y'all. No, I, 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 I didn't really follow me. up on the story of what happened. I saw all the memes, but I haven't looked into it. But I was watching SNL, and then they call him Teriyaki 6 9 and I cannot <laughs> take teriyaki that teriyaki name out of my mind now. I'm like, it stuck, and it, it, it ruined it. Not Teriyaki. <laughs> teriyaki 6 9 Yeah, so that's one thing that's been going on. I also have been uh, following the debates. I've been liking the debates back and mm-hmm. forth to the Democratic uh, who, nominees. If you don't mind sharing, who's your front runner right now? Ooh, so I think everybody already knows that. Uh, I know, but I just yeah. <laughs> well, actually a lot of people because I'm not. I don't. I don't hold You're my not a shame. Like, yeah. On Twitter, on Instagram, and everything like that. Uh, Kamala Harris. I'm, she's actually my front runner right now, mm-hmm. um, and I've been saying that for a long time. Like even when she was running to become the uh, Attorney General of California and then Senator and everything like that, I just said that I could see her being our president. Mm. Um, since then, unfortunately, on, I won't Kamala. be too much on that. I won't. I won't right, right. You know, That's for another episode. Too much on that. But since then, it's crazy that all this information, you know, that she now that she's running for president, there's a lot of information that's just trying to distort my view already on her. Hello. But nonetheless, we have an episode coming up brother. about cancel culture. Exactly. She's still my front brother. There's, uh, I think, Elizabeth Warren is dope. I love her. Um, That's my front runner. I know. Yeah, mm. I think she's dope. To be honest with you, if I really had to choose right now to be like between her and her and her and her to be honest with because you. Bernie is the, I mean he's cute I know there's like people that are like <laughs> I mean, we got into it Wait, on Bernie oh yeah we, me, me and JV got into it he did it was back at this is during right, this is dur- no this is during the DNC when <laughs> okay. he was running against Hillary because <laughs> No, so I <laughs> I was I was story. I was for Bernie mm-hmm. and uh, JB's for was for Hillary uh-huh. and they had their um, oh no it was the DNC so she had already won yeah. everything and everybody had to like concede yeah. to her basically mm-hmm. and I don't know if that's the right word but yeah, yeah. so but what start it was so stupid I was like Bernie can still say no if he wanted to. Mm-hmm. And then Justin was like, "No, he can't because everybody else already said yeah. Like, <laughs> why would he say no? Like, you know." And then I was like, "No, legally he can still say no if he wants to." And like, still, I don't, it was it was just stupid. Was and then we got into this big ass argument. <laughs> And then we had to text no, each I other. I love said, you at night. See, it's people like you. I was like, see, it's people, people like, like you. Are the why she but no, but the, the but that is a point though, because yeah. that is why she exactly. didn't win. Because yeah. people were like burn or bust. But and obviously, I could have said it differently, and that's well, what heated it. I mean, I, I mean, was just so bad. I'm like, come on, bro. You still got these birdie people out here. That's like, oh, but they're still there. I'm not one of those anymore. But they're still here. I think everybody keep going. Like the reason why she did not win the election is because you know it was like a split between burn. Bernie and Hillary, but we know like it was voter fraud. Well, then so. it came out right, exactly. Yeah. So that- we gotta let that narrative go because that's not true. Mm. Like now we know, and now we're trying to impeach. You know, Agent Orange, which <laughs> which well, is way overdue. That's a lot. That's a way lot overdue. Unpack. Right. Y'all need to but, be watching. Like, I'm sitting up here, my legs be crossed. It. Uh, man, <laughs> <The view laughs> be it. oh, I, you know, I love me some the View. Going at it. We watch the View all the time. Yeah, that the actually, the that's one thing I've been doing be. less of is following is is following up right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to read things, and but right now, watching people's opinions on on any commentary on politics, mm-hmm. I can't do it. You know mm-hmm. why I yeah. do it? I do it because I like to just get different perspectives and information from people that I don't normally get from in my community or that I talk to on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. So when I do turn on the View and when I turn do turn on CNN, I'm hearing. Do you watch Fox? Sorry. 
Uh, not really. No. Okay, no, but I've tuned into <laughs> your her. point. That's I've why I because I, uh, I appreciate somebody that is a conservative that speaks on Fox. Right. So I've seen her sp- speak on Fox. But mm-hmm. but I, to my initial point was that um, I think it's important to get you know different people's perspective on what's going on in the world. So mm-hmm. when I watch The View, I really enjoy um, Megan uh, McCain, Megan McCain, and Abby Huntsman, and I enjoy well both of them. But and I enjoy um, like all the other, like uh, Joy is really really funny. Oh, I love mm-hmm. her. Everything like that. But it's just a different <laughs> twist on what's going on. Yeah, and you don't. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to take that at, 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 as truth, mm-hmm. you know, because right. people are going to distort what they their agenda to get across. And they're very yeah. factual, but you can literally just take in information and you know weigh if you want to believe it or not, and then even expand your mind from what you already know about the situation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> what, what you been here about? Um, really, I've kind of a, I've kind of just really avoided. Avoided. You know, avoided. Um. I've avoided the the what's going kind of like <laughs> I kind of just avoid it. <laughs> just no, avoid it. I've avoided the debates avoided. right now. Um, I've avoided the debates. I, I've just I've checked out because I think right now mentally I've been so like I'm like really reshaping my whole. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say identity, but mm-hmm. I'm working on myself a lot, and I don't know if a lot of other people feel that way. But politics, one of those things that really affect me mm. down to a mental level like especially nowadays yeah unfortunately that's true so i've been working on building myself up to receive like you know the messages and the propaganda that everybody's throwing out but i'm just like i've watched part of the bit of a debate and i got frustrated and i just turn off the t- you know turn off like the computer because i'm just like i can't do it it's mm. ridiculous mm. it looked like a shit show do you ever think you're going to tune back in? Eventually? Yeah, oh, okay. I definitely will. Um, I definitely will catch up. I will read on people and their backgrounds. I like mm-hmm. to do, I love history. And, mm-hmm. you know, and when you're a politician, you leave a trail. Yeah. And I like patterns and people leave patterns around. I don't need to hear what you're saying um, at the moment. I mean, yes, you kind of do need to hear how they feel about things now. Mm-hmm. I want to know that you own up to it and learn yeah. if you messed up. But I also like to see people's patterns. And because politicians, they they um, study the landscape of what people want them to be for. And, mm-hmm. and that's how they win their platforms. Yeah. Yeah. How the hell did this become a political episode? I don't know. But <laughs> I, don't I guess because that's what we do. Yeah. It. It's not, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that is part of what we're doing. It yeah. is a conversation that it, right. really needs that's to be the, That's what we are living now. Yeah. I mean, people are just like are voting for this person is more popular this week off of their last, mm, you know, mm. interview. And it's like, okay, they were funny or it was mm-hmm. just like so stupid. Oh, who's know? getting the most comments on Instagram. Exactly. Yeah. And, oh, it's ridiculous. Before we exit that topic though, yeah. I do want to just correct and say it's Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I be speaking fast. I speak fast. What did you say I before? Did, I think I said Kamala yeah, yeah. I didn't. I don't. Well, I said it. Just, that, I just say it really. I fast. heard Kamala, yeah. Kamala. <laughs> I've heard the people but it's say definitely different Kamala. Way. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kamala, Kamala. Harris. and she's an AKA. And she is an AKA. Yeah, yeah from the Bay Area. Go Greek. Okay. Um, I have been paying attention to too much. Um, I, but at the same time, not nothing at all because it's nothing that holds substance. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so it's like, cause like being on Instagram and like mm-hmm. Facebook and like seeing everything, like just like you were saying earlier, mm-hmm. like just being fed everything. It's like, there's so much going on yeah. that I guess I understand why people latch on to what gets the most comments and stuff now, because you're getting fed the shade room, neighborhood talk, all that stuff. Like it's being fed to you. So a lot, nothing at all. But you know, it's crazy <laughs> that you say that because that is very true. But yeah, what do we do? We still let it be fed to us. Well, so it exactly. can't be fed to us unless we allow the information to come within us. Right. So I think the important thing to say is be careful on what you're being fed. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you so can because you have you, you know. can control what you're following yeah. and like what you're yeah, allowed. Exactly. And going like back to boundaries, like establishing like no, I don't want to know mm. this. But I think that can become murky too, though. Like when you. Because that's how we've gotten to a space of people not wanting to hear other people, 
right? It's yeah. like I don't want to hear it. I'm going to tune it out. You I'm know, mostly talking about like balance. Like if we're both following, if if, if my like me specifically, I follow um, the Shade Room and I watch follow the Neighborhood Talk. Mm-hmm. So I'm literally getting like all this information from two gossip platforms on Instagram. Mostly the when, same thing. Mostly the same thing. Mm-hmm. But what I can do is just shut one off. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> just, like, just one. Just one. I mean, that's a start, right? And yeah. then the next one, because all of it is very. It's starting to be very repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's, it's not drama. It's somebody's music coming out. It's not about somebody's music. And then it's people we don't even somebody. know or it's heard of. We don't even know. So it's just really repetitive. But I think we feed off of, to your point, mm-hmm. being fed. I think we literally feed off of seeing like drama and negativity and, you know, other people's lives and the disorder and, okay. you know, things that we see ourselves potentially wanting to like. We go, we see the shade room post is like looks from the Emmys. We look at a person and be like, oh, I would love to wear that dress yeah. or I would love mm. to wear that outfit. So it's things like that that I feel stimulate us to keep on tuning in to these mm-hmm. type of platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Anyways. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's you said something here month. about music and stuff and that's what I've been focusing on a lot. I've been listening to a lot of music mm-hmm. and I wanted to ask you if there is, you know, an album that's out right now that's really speaking to you. <laughs> you know, Ooh. the first, uh, you talking to me? And then you're like, okay. I mean, everybody. <laughs> no, you first. Quick. No, go. The first album that literally came to mind is Kurt. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Kurt. Who? Kirk? Kurt. Who is Kurt? <laughs> it's by the baby. But uh, they still looking like who the baby? The ba- oh, the baby! Oh, no. that's his real name. No, that's the title of the album. Oh, Kurt. So okay. he said an album that that stood out to me mm-hmm. is that album right now Kurt. because I've been really like I just been in the zone like with that. I'm not saying that it speaks to me, but that's the first one that came to mind. Okay, doing that type of thing. Mm. Uh, one right now that literally speaks to me, which is crazy. You're probably gonna love this. Is hers album? Yeah, because like, that was my answer. answer. Literally, you know, it's yeah. just, like, I don't know. I just. Yeah. a great appreciation from like I think it's like watching her perform and watching mm-hmm. her horror and her vibe mm-hmm. I'm like she is so dope I yeah mean, Devry can I mean Dev could like literally you already said this. Devry child well yeah. I corrected myself okay, <laughs> the name is Dev the coolest yeah. so he can speak more about this but yeah her energy and her vibe and her aura is just like yeah, um, it's like a wave. So go yeah. ahead, Dev. Yeah. Uh, Dev. Go, go ahead. Well, I was going no, it. I was going to say her. Yeah. he already took it. She from eight, and she's only twenty one, right. which right. goes to just age is just a number, like Aaliyah's. Age ain't nothing but a number. Ain't yeah. But, number. Um, but since that was stolen, um, <laughs> that was stolen. <laughs> Still say the same I've, thing. There's I mean, no speaks to you, speaks well that to you. yeah that definitely I love that album the EP or she combined the EP and added yeah. four new songs yeah um, but I also have been it's not an album but I've been listening to Lucky Day a lot more oh mm-hmm. my goodness. I love Lucky Rosa Day Rosa Mo that song Rosa Mo you know that song Rosa Mo we gonna it's... play that Rosa song Mo. before the end of the day alright oh. yeah <laughs> Oh my god, we gotta play that song before the end of the day. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that song is a vibe. But I've been listening to him a lot um over the past couple okay. of months. Um, um what's his yeah. album called? Or do you I don't know. Him? No, I don't know. I just been listening to him on Pandora. Okay. Come on now. I've um <laughs> I've really been into Jadena's album, Eighty Five to Africa. Ooh, Jadena, my mm-hmm. goodness. His fine ass. Oh my god. <sighs> Ooh, can I don't we know do, can we take a I moment? Like, it's like he was gone for a minute and we forgot. Can we and all of a sudden it was like, wait, wait, what is this wait, tattoo? What are all these muscles? Moment. Can we take a moment? Because you didn't. I'm sorry. You, <laughs> you ahead, brought him ahead. up. I'm in the moment. I'm over here creaming. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not in that moment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We were doing so good. We were. Uh, but welcome back. Season creamy three. Creamy. 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 He had to bring in the Krispy Kreme, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, Jadena, child. And he, and he recently said that he, ooh. Uh, uh, he I mean, he didn't, say that, he didn't say nothing bad. He didn't say he I'm was. I was going to say, what are you talking about? But he I've, I've, that I've he, visual, <laughs> he was on a breakfast club, and he yeah. was talking about uh, uh, um, um, being LGBT in open relationships. Huh? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, we on two different. No, he was talking about. Um, <laughs> right? He was talking about politicians speaking against um, homosexuality in Africa. Yeah, and, and well, that was on another was, interview, but yeah. Okay. Because mm-hmm. anyway, um, I'm sorry. I didn't finish what you, you've been listening to. Jadena, I love so. like when he was speaking on that. It's like it's something I researched because I wanted to like develop like a queer history class someday, mm-hmm. and That's to talk insane. about like history in Africa where there was trans identity, there were gender nonconforming folks, um, people actually. In this society today, having one gender is mm-hmm. pretty new. Can you clarify? Identifying that's with one deep, gender. Sorry, that's a deep. Right, because I had, my mind yeah. was like, woo, I was ready for that one. Identifying with one gender is actually, this is something of like this new society that we're in right now. But uh. there were um, 
folks that were queer were were respected in the community because they had you know they seen two sides of like their i guess beings mm-hmm. in their community so they were looked at as the person that you'll go to for advice they were like the spiritual leaders and stuff like that mm, and here we are with the podcast. right right <laughs> <laughs> so right. studying that in african history and like so they really came and fucked everything up like turn it upside down make us yeah. believe like we're not worth it in the society where absolutely we actually hold more like power. intuitive power yeah. than we give ourselves credit for absolutely so that's pretty dope i love that he mentioned that because i'm like uh, from a coming from a, I don't know how he identifies. I'm assuming that he identifies as a heterosexual man, mm-hmm. but coming from him, a black man, I really appreciated it that mm-hmm. he spoke on that. I'm, I'm, mm. he does something to me. <laughs> I really don't know. Why'd you bring him up? Uh, are you okay. are you ruined for the whole episode okay. for the rest of this I'm episode? Done. I have nothing else to <laughs> say. To Jadena, come home. over. Y- y- y'all should see our group message. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. child, mm-hmm. Jadena. Uh, our group message when when. Uh, okay, Jadena. So, <laughs> basically, <laughs> what else has been going on though? Jadena. Oh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, with me or. Just in general, that yeah, you right. had thoughts about, that you literally had thoughts about. We all that. moving to LA. We all. Well, he's already well, there. Already there, but we all gonna be there. No, but he. Well, no. Well, well, I don't. I don't know if you. Oh, well, he won't be so there. But I do have an announcement that I did want to make. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I do have an announcement that I do. All seriously, jokes aside, I was like, oh, this will be surprise the guys and then surprise. Oh, this. Oh, okay, thing. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. So, um, basically, uh, I'm in a relationship. Basically. With the money. <laughs> yeah. hey. With the money. Bye. <laughs> Good night. I can't stand give me the, give me the. Let's drive the boat. Let's drive the boat. Let's drive the boat. <laughs> let's drive the boat. Talk about in a relationship with the money. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm not in a relationship anymore. I really miss him. But oh. we. Oh. I'm like, where is you're, this Last from? season, I was in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship anymore. Like, a- but we still care about... What? <laughs> we still care about each other a lot. But it's un- like... Sometimes you're in a relationship with someone that you care about. Oh, let me try the boat real quick, y'all. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't spill on the mic. Uh. Shut up. Ooh, ooh. Let me know what he was saying. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh, okay. Ooh, monkey show. Ooh, cha. That is a lot. Come on, Ray. Ah! Okay. Did you get saying. some? Um, <laughs> did JB get some? I did. Oh, okay. He did. He he got himself first. Um, okay. But sometimes you're just not compatible mm-hmm. at yeah. the core of it. You oh, know? I know that. Like, in, we're still really good friends. I'm not going to speak on him too much, but that also happened in the last two months. I Oh, you thought you said you had some already, and now you want to drink some more. <laughs> Oh shit. Ugh. oh shit! You don't know how Open to catch that throat. It? What are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's all that conversation. <laughs> That's all that what? hours conversation <laughs> at my house. Uh, oh. No, let me stop. Well, we are. Moving. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we both look like? <laughs> okay, I'm just Her? joking. I know that's what it was. Like the, like the retro street <laughs> scratch. <laughs> all right, we we have like no time left. Ooh. We don't. Um, no. No, but what I I do want to just leave it off on this note. I'm sorry, I know I've been doing that, but I do want to leave it off on this note to what you were just talking about, mm-hmm. and um, I think compatible. that's really really dope that you were self aware and and you took account to what you had going on and knew you had to you know take a step back, and mm-hmm. I admire that about you. Yeah, you, you pin. I don't know. If that's you uh, being a Pisces or what it is. I don't know. No, because Pisces like, pa- they paint Pisces like we just some weak ass bitches. <laughs> not, and I'm not using bitch in the derogatory uh, way i know being pc 2019 <laughs> um it's all good. but no thank you i Absolutely. appreciate that so just leave it on that good positive yeah note. definitely i'm very proud of you thank you let's yeah. not make it about me at the end of the damn episode the matter, but what? they make it about me the other five episodes. thank you <laughs> no, just joking. thank you i missed and love y'all so much i do yes, miss y'all yes welcome back we and have I, it. This is just the beginning. I don't think the three of us has been we the three of us together. Me, we we've done some things, but we all three mm-hmm. of us haven't been together. That's since true. We, we haven't since the last recorded. time we recorded. That's yeah. odd. 
that I haven't hung out with y'all in that long. Well, I mean, I'm not around the corner. I know, so. but at least, <laughs> it's I mean, yeah, you can come. I saw y'all se- seen y'all separately, but yeah. I haven't, all three of us haven't. Yeah, been but we're back. We're, we're back. Oh, season three. We are Listen, sponsored. Yeah, we're well, sponsored. Listen, wait, to, wait, wait for a couple more seconds because you'll hear the sponsor thing today. Thank y'all so much for listening to another episode of Slick Talk. We'll see y'all next. Oh, and we're weekly now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, we're, we're not bi weekly. So tune in so, next week yes. for the next episode. Yes, yes, tune yes. Tune in next yes. week for the next episode. Hashtag Slick, Slick Talk. Talk. <laughs> yeah. He said like a news, uh, as a game show host. I see. Tune in next week. That's the next right episode. There. Okay, we, we love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> see y'all next time. See Bye. Ya. Bye. <laughs>